is underway in the Pacific. Its three-month climate outlook shows a high chance of above-average rain for the eastern half of the country. Queensland Fire and Emergency Services Assistant Commissioner Andrew Short says authorities are ready to respond. We've got a number of catchments which are, which are still pretty wet and, and that's going to certainly be a factor for us when we start to see the rain coming. It comes as Queenslanders are still recovering from last summer's flood disaster. Today marks 75 years since Australian peacekeepers were the first to serve in the field as part of international peacekeeping missions. There'll be a commemorative service in Canberra this morning to mark National Peacekeepers Day with veterans and family members gathering to honour those who've served. Veterans Affairs Secretary Liz Cotton says the Australian Peacekeeping Force remains an important feature of international efforts. Well, we have uncertainty in the world and where there are countries that are still experiencing conflict and unrest that um, the United Nations can draw on forces like Australia to say, I want you to go and put boots on the ground. Now it's for James Coventry. Brisbane Lions midfielder Jared Berry is free to play in Friday night's AFL preliminary final against Geelong at the MCG. The AFL tribunal last night overturned Berry's one-match ban for making unnecessary contact with the eye region of Melbourne's Clayton Oliver. Berry says he's relieved the tribunal agreed that the contact was not unreasonable. <laughs> Australia's made a winning start to the Davis Cup tennis finals, defeating Belgium three love at its opening tie in Hamburg overnight. Jason Kubler and Alex Dimonor won their singles rubbers against Zizou Birds and David Goffin respectively. Matthew Ebden then teamed up with Max Purcell to win the doubles. And Australia's Richie Port has confirmed his retirement from professional cycling. The 37-year-old won eight World Tour stage races during his career, including the Tour Down Under twice, and finished third overall at the 2020 Tour of France. His final race was cut short when the Tour of